prepare factory lockdown. Commence closure in five, four, three, two, one. Triple seal the doors. We will wait here till our cargo ship arrives. What about the child? She is under cyber power now. This is the best place to start. On the fringes of a battle between the Cybermen and humanity. It seems no matter how long I do this, they keep coming back. The Daleks, the Cybermen, the Crinoids, the Zygons, the Kral, all of them. And I am the one who always loses. But not this time. What is that noise? It's coming from behind the factory doors. Nothing can disrupt those doors. Cannonball! <coughs> Identify yourself. The Doctor. And I'm not one for second chances. So let the child go, or I'll activate my sonic screwdriver. What can that sonic device do to cyber technology? I've had months to infiltrate the cyber network. One press of this, and all your emotional inhibitors will deactivate. You might not care, but the people inside you will. Emotions are a weakness. Emotions have been conquered. We will display the result to you here. Where do your priorities lie in defeating us or saving the child? You're just buying time and it won't work! Don't make me press this button. Delete the Sonic device. Ah, oh, Sonic! Oh, I'm so, so sorry. You have no capability of saving the child. You are defeated. I wouldn't be too sure. Explain. Cannonball. Should have checked when I threw it, yeah. Gold is still your weakness, isn't it? Ha! We will <laughs> Don't worry. I've got you now. Let's find your family. Even though I won, I still lost. That wasn't a choice between an enemy and a child. That was a choice between which human to save. I came close to losing that child. But the Cybermen were more important. Making sure they didn't live to cause any more terror. To pay them back for what they and every other enemy of mine have took from me. Katrina. Adric, Rose, Donna, all of them need to pay. And I made sure that they did. That was my only victory. Standing in the TARDIS, you almost don't feel time anymore with Days like these circling around your mind. Oh, shut up, Doctor. Where to next? Ah. Well, I wasn't expecting that. What's wrong, old girl? It's about time we went... <laughs>
bed. Oh, we're really gonna have to sort out your crash protocols. Oh yeah, don't get funny with me. It's my head that feels like it's got a bunch of screaming Daleks in it. Oh. Right, let's see where we are. That's not good. Nowhere. We're nowhere. Well, that's something I suppose. But we need to go to nowhere for quite some time. <laughs> Hello? Is that no one from nowhere? <laughs> yeah, still got it, Doctor. Hello? Doctor? You know me? Who doesn't, Doctor? Come on. A man who's lived for, what is it, three million years? Oh, yeah, 900, but close. I'm sure a lot of us would love to meet you. Really? All right, then. Can I trust you? You don't have to. I mean, you can stay in there if you'd like. Where am I? You don't know. <laughs> what have you been taking? Truth is, Doctor, we need your help. Okay. I'm coming. This is weird. Yep. This is why we need you. My eyes must have hit my head harder than I thought. No. Everything really is in black and white. Except me. Don't talk too soon. Where am I? And who are you? I'm Doreen. Welcome to Stratorum Zero. Stratorum Zero. A world in black and white. That. That is anyone. It's so bright. The sand under my feet, it's so soft. Reminds me of Gallifrey. Gallifrey? Oh, just a place. How did this all happen? Come with me. Everything can be explained in the cathedral. Ah, something grand, I imagine. The Shanctum of Harmony. Oh, no, the, the Home of Tranquility. The... No, it's just called the Cathedral of Stratorum. That was meant to be the joke. Oh, um, right. <laughs> Not everything needs a big climactic answer. Eh, depends on the situation. Might I ask, what's that flower on the podium at the back there? The only thing in this world with colour. With a world as bleak as this, as empty as this, the people of this village look to the flower for guidance. Pretty. Very, very pretty. We all once had colour and life, but the longer we stayed here, it began to fade. How long have you been here? Oh, uh, something like 1,500 years? Something like that? What? Over a thousand years on what is essentially just a sandy island. Yeah. Every newborn child starts as bright and beautiful as that flower. Then with time, they lose it, like everyone else. Well, you've certainly introduced me to a problem I've never faced. Oh, I'm sure you have in some way. Life's just patterns, all leading to the same place. Yes. Anyway, I've got stuff to do. I'll see you in a bit. Feel free to wander around the village. Get a feel for it. Uh, thank you, um... Uh, Doreen. Thank you, Doreen. It's peaceful. I'll give them that. The sea stretches out as far as the eye can see. But I have no idea what's going on. 
Not a clue. Something about all this just feels off. I can't quite tell. A world that loses colour. People turn into a flower for guidance. A race that survived for over a thousand years. I've no clear where to start. So, tomorrow morning, I'm going to leave. There's nothing I can do for them. Hello, stranger. Looking all melancholic and sombre at the ocean. Have you always had hair that blows in the wind like that? <laughs> no, not always. I had a buzz cut before this. You? With a buzz cut? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have seen my hair 300 years ago. Got any pictures? I have some in the TARDIS. You figured out what's going on yet? Just letting thoughts simmer. I'm sure I'll have something in the morning. But speaking of, do you have... Yes. We've got a spare couch. Tired? It's been a long 24 hours. Well, imagine what it's like living here every day. It's almost as dull as working an office job. Oh, I think I'd take this any day of the week. Would you? Anyway, I'd better head in. We're just round the corner. Okie dokie. I'll be in in a bit. Sometimes I wish I listened to my people. Never interfere. One day I'll do as I'm told. Right. Everyone is probably still asleep. So I think I'll just sneak to the TARDIS quietly. Going somewhere? Ah, Doreen, I'm just um uh, going out to get some uh, equipment. Yeah. Really? Uh, uh, no, I shouldn't have attempted to lie. Sorry. Why are you leaving us? Sorry, Doreen. I really am, but there's nothing I can do here. I I do not know what your village thinks I am. But I'm not a book with all the answers. I'd be gobsmacked if I knew where to start. You've lived for three million years. The universe can still surprise you. Oh, don't go. We can't live like this forever. This existence is not life. It's misery. I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh no. It's happening to me. Why? How? It happens to all of us in the end. Your hand is just the start. Eventually you'll lose all colour. It's the way the world works. No. No, I... I need to get away. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Rise and shine, Doctor Who! Oh, don't call me that. <laughs> only messing. No time to chatter. We need to sort this out now. If only the situation was just slightly less improbable. What? A world where everything works literally in black and white? Well, when you put it like that... How are you feeling? I feel absolutely lost. Nothing makes sense. Even Time Lord fourth dimensional physics and quantum mechanics are easier than this. You're like a spoilt child. Well, being childish sometimes helps. How do you bear with this place? Been here long enough to know there's no way out. <sighs> oh, fine. Well, is there anything I can do? I'm not standing around this house any longer. Although, before I go on, I do like the old Earth architecture. It's very nice. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you. And yes, there is something you can do. Oh, brilliant! Pick the carrots out on the farm. Oh. Great. What? Not a fan of carrots? Well, last time I had a carrot-inspired juice, it turned me the wrong way. They make you see in the dark, though. Yeah, ha-ha, very funny. But I suppose it'll keep me from wanting to regenerate to death. From what? Uh, nothing. Well, you cozy on the hat stand by the door. Bring them here when you're done. Oh. 
What? I left the key in the TARDIS door. And? Hads. Huh? Hads! Cybermen. What happened? Where did your ship go? If you leave the TARDIS key in the door for too long, it activates the HAD system and displaces itself in case of danger. How do we bring it back? We can't. Not without my Sonic, anyway. What? Our only way of getting out of here is gone. Maybe you were right. Maybe there is no way out of here. Right, come here, you little carrot. Ugh. Do you know what's going on, carrot? Are you actually an alien in disguise? Invasion of the carrots. Uh, yeah, no, probably not. Fair enough. Even the carrots don't grow here. But how? With glaring sunlight all day and surrounded by water, it doesn't grow. Oh, my head! It's full of confusion! Why isn't there a manual for this sort of thing? Maybe... I don't know, maybe there's something in the water? Hold on a minute. No, no, that can't be right. It is. The island's getting smaller at a rapidly increasing rate. Why? Oh, isn't that the question of the day? The only thing that keeps popping up. Why? Doreen, what are you doing? Cooking! Cooking what? <sighs> well, I've just been up to the farm. Nothing grows here, nothing. So what are you cooking with? It seems to me, from a simple case of deduction, that the only thing that grew here was that flower. Would I be correct in guessing that it was the first thing you found here? Yes. And for thousands of years, it's kept its colour, its life. I don't know what's so special about flowers. Maybe I'm just a pessimist. Part of me thinks it could be more than that. Please, if you can find the answer, that would be brilliant. Because I can't cope with all this anymore. I don't know. I think I might be working it out. Your hand! It's got colour again! What do you think it means? I think it means I'm going to stay. Well, not like I've got a choice, but I'm in this for the long run. You will? Oh yes! Even if it takes me thousands of years to figure this out, I'm going to save all of you. I'm going to get you all out of this. Oh, thank you! Look, since you're staying, I guess I'd better make up the sofa for you. Well, I've slept on worse. A concrete floor being one of them. Anyway, I might go to the cathedral. I have some questions I need answering. Doctor, your hand. It's lost its colour again. As I said, the universe will surprise you.
This place might just be the biggest puzzle I've ever faced. I just don't know what this place is. Perhaps I'll never know. But I will get everyone out of here, no matter the cost. It feels like the universe has seen that I can use my powers as a Time Lord to do what I want. And now it's forced me to the one place where I can't do that. A slowly decaying island where nothing grows, people who have lived for thousands of years and everything losing its colour. Leading to one simple question. Why? That is the key, and I will figure out what it means. And it all begins with this flower. Hello, hello. Back looking out to sea. Well, it is beautiful. If it wasn't for the fact that it's all crumbling away, this would be the perfect place to settle down. You should see the sky at night. Well, we might as well. Sun should set soon. About a couple of minutes. Really? That's quick. I suppose. This place never ceases to give me more questions. Have any more thoughts on what's going on? Oh, just the same questions on a cycle. Part of me wonders whether I'm supposed to figure it out. What if it's just the universe being... Well, the universe. It's a pretty crappy universe, if that's the case. Maybe it's telling me to stop running. Save everyone here, and then stay. Live life, settle down. The slow path. From someone who lives on the slow path, it ain't much fun. The stars are coming out. The stars are what? I... Sorry, sorry, you just reminded me of someone. Want to talk about it? Oh, it's a long story. But I lost someone recently. She was the most important woman in the universe. Literally. If it wasn't for her, then I wouldn't be here. Oh, oh, she was the best. You should have seen her with Cleopatra. <laughs> Never stood a chance. <laughs> Reminds me of someone. I met the most amazing man once. He was a bit daft and childish, but he cared. I lost him too. I suppose that's why people come here. It's a place for all the losers. Yeah, I guess so. You know, I never thought I'd be able to say that I've lived in black and white. Well, literally speaking, that is. I certainly want to tell the grandkids. <laughs> you got any? I did, yeah. Don't know where she is now. I said I'd find her again. Never did. We all find our way back to family sometime. Anyway, I'm off to bed. See you tomorrow. This world is something else. I thought if the stars came out, I'd be able to work out where I am. But no. It's just a jumbled, meaningless mess. I guess it's about time I slept. And got ready for the rest of my life. In eternity. Sorry, Donna. It's just a dream. I dreamt that I was in black and... Ah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. It wasn't a dream. Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's alright. Doreen's a bit of a dull, not very special name, so call me what you like. Doreen's a lovely name. I just can't get over how pointless this place is. Why bother doing anything here? Why? The universe will certainly surprise you. Oh, <laughs> nice one. Nothing happens for no reason. 
I'm a Time Lord. Figuring this stuff out should be second nature to me. It should be like going back to kindergarten. Billions of years of history and I can't work out one little puzzle. Maybe you were right. Perhaps you're just here to help us and to stay. Not to figure things out. Not everything needs a big climactic answer. That's more like it! Come on! Hold on a second! What's going on? Over there! People are gathering by the waterfront! I wonder why. There's others there. Halonzea! Excuse me! Excuse me, coming through. Let me help! Identify yourselves! Doctor, they've got a child. What are they? I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you what's going on, but our priority is to get that kid away from them. I can't tell what you want here with this village. These people are peaceful. You don't need to harm them. What good would that even do? No, 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 what, what are you doing? <gasps> Why? Why? Why did you have to do that? Why did you, why did you have to do that? Where did they go? They just vanished! I failed. I tried to save them. It's not your fault. Then whose is it? Huh? Will they come back? I don't know, Doreen! I don't know anything! I'm not your saviour! I, I don't know what I am now! I'm sorry. <sighs> no. No, I shouldn't have... No. No. Sorry. I, I shouldn't have lashed out. But why come here to kill one person? Why kill a child? A child! It's gonna be okay. We need to take the child back to her family. It's the least we can do. I suppose you're right. Look, the family is going to need us. quiet outside the house. The whole village is in mourning. Of course. A child's just been murdered. It's not just a child, Doctor. It's the first. The first? What do you mean? This is the first life taken from Stratterum. The first life taken? What? You've been here, what, a thousand years? How is that possible? We've never been attacked. There's never been illness. Nothing. The world's so pointless we didn't even have a reason to lose anyone. What's outside? What are you looking at? Just the seafront. We've got very little time left. Since I got here, the island's been slowly decaying away. Grain by grain. And I think I'm beginning to figure it out. Maybe you are. Your hand's gaining colour again. You're the only one to do that. Yeah, it is. I think I've solved the question. What question? Why? The question is now... How? I've got to pay one more visit to the cathedral. Tell the family... I'm sorry. Of course. Thank you, Doctor. There I was, thinking I had to stay the rest of my life here. Thinking I'd never understand. Thinking the lesson was to just give up. All the questions suddenly make sense. And the key was this flower. The answer was staring us all right in the face. And I should have known. 
but I fell right into the trap. The universe definitely surprised me with this one. And now I know exactly what to do. I have been running too long, running away from my responsibilities as a Time Lord. But now, I must answer the call. The Ute summoned me for a reason. And I guess it's time that I responded. Thank you for showing me the way. Hello, Doreen. Having fun looking down a well? <laughs> well, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good, yeah. Did you figure it out? I see you've got your colour back. I'm looking good. Yes, I did. I think I always preferred things in colour. And? This place, it's perfect for me. The sort of place I'd retire to with the sort of person I'd retire with. All wrapped up in a great big mystery. It's so me. It couldn't be more me if it tried. Whatever did this is clever. What about all the people in the village? <laughs> Where are they, Doreen? All the people in this village. I don't hear anyone. Just silence. They're inside, grieving. We saw them. Let's start with the obvious. Everything is in black and white. Let's say you lot arrived here. You're full of colour and life. But then you realise the fruit doesn't grow. You realise you have no food. You realise there's nothing to do. Then you realise you're stranded here. You lose hope. You lose joy. You lose everything, so you lose yourself. It's a cycle. The more you see how pointless things are, the less happy you become. And the less happy you become, the more pointless everything seems. It spreads like a plague. You convince everyone else that there's no point. So they also lose hope, till eventually, the whole world around you is lifeless. Right. So what's that got to do with the flower? It's not just any old flower. It's a yellow tulip. Symbolic of hope. But you guys were far too gone by the time you found the tulip. And only took you a few hours. A few hours? Yeah. You've not been here for thousands of years. It's been five hours. You don't just live thousands of years with no one dying. Trust me, I know. Especially without food. Not even a Domino's. Why didn't that occur to me? And that's the last piece of the puzzle. You wouldn't. Because you're not designed to. Designed to? You're just a part of my subconscious. The perfect friend. Someone who knows me, trusts me, and cares for me without fail. Even the name is an amalgamation of all the people I've met. All created through my vanity and loneliness. So I'm not real? None of this is. I'm, I'm sorry. I wish you were real. I really wish you were. What's going on, Doctor? I'm scared. The illusion's broken. The world is resetting. The houses, the sand, the buildings, they'll all go. What about me? I don't want to go. Donna, you're never gone. You're always here to me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, 
Wow, this is weird. Standing on water, that's a first. Of course, here you are. I knew you'd be somewhere, old girl. Just give me a moment, would you? A village full of people, and yet I was alone the entire time. Goodbye, Stratarum Zero. I'm back. I'm back. TARDIS, open all exhausts! I believe we have some psychic pollen about. I assume that's what gave you a funny turn earlier. Tried telling you, but you went and blew up! A new one! Oh, you beauty! I promise that I will not bust this one. Well, I say promise. Anyway, I guess it's time. Let's set course for the Ood Sphere. What have you got for me this time, Universe? Surprise me. Allons-y!